What's going on YouTube? It's Zero Exploit. Today I'm doing Jack from Try Hack Me. This box is marked hard. This room is a CTF challenge. So today I'm going to walk you through and show you guys how to root this box. The tools that we'll be using is Nmap, WP Scan, Burp, and PS Pi. We start by enumerating the box to see that it is running WordPress. We'll then use the WP scan tool to enumerate users and get some credentials by brute forcing the application. Now, in order for us to get a reverse shell, we need to escalate our privileges from normal user to administrator on WordPress. We'll then edit the PHP file and eject our reverse shell code and get a reverse shell as user WW data. We'll then find a file in the home directory called Reminder that tells us there is a backups folder somewhere on the system. So we'll need to use the find command to search for that folder. And once we find it, we'll see that there is a SSH key for Jack. We'll then use the SSH key to log in as Jack and then do some more enumerating using PSPy to monitor the processes that are running. We'll notice that root has a cron job running every minute running a script that imports the OS module, which we have read and write access to. We'll modify the OS module and get a reverse shell as root. So just to let you guys know, I have done this machine already. And since this is your guys' first time, I'll be attacking this machine like if it was my first time so you guys could see the full process. We'll also be using Google and SearchPoint to do some researching and find some exploits. So other than that, hackers, get your laptops ready. Let's get to hacking. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is scroll down and let's check out what our tasks are. Like I said before, this is a challenge room. It's not it's a uh, walkthrough room, so. <clears throat> but this is my walkthrough video on how we're gonna do this. So there's only two things that we need to do. We need to gain a user flag and a root flag. One of the things I like doing is sometimes hitting these hints and see what it gives us. WP scan, use your enumeration, and don't use tools. Okay, well, it's telling you to use WP scan, but don't use tools. Um, we see that there's a URE other roles. So let's go ahead and use Google and see what this is. Um, click on this one right here. It seems like a old phone hub walkthrough on WordPress. <laughs> Let's look for our initial enumeration tool for all WordPress sites is always WP scan. Okay, vulnerable plugins. Two plugins are worth looking into. No, we're not looking for that. We're looking for the password guessing, credentials found, some vulnerable plugins, plain view, activity monitor. Oh, that's not what we're looking on. Triggering reverse shell. Here we go. Use role editor. So researching the vulnerable plugin shows that a user can submit arbitrary roles such as administrator when editing their own profile and the plugin will then give them that role. This looks simple enough to exploit manually. Use burp suite, gotta update the profile and use burp suite and then add at URE other roles equals administrator at the end of the post data and then forward the request to follow the redirect. Okay, all right, well that looks easy. Okay, so it's also telling us to add jack.thm to the Etsy host. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll deploy the machine. All right, we'll copy this IP. And then we'll export it. And then 
also store it in the uh, Etsy host file. So this export IP is equal. Now the reason why we're exporting the IP is so we don't have to enter it all the time. We can use a simple dollar sign and uppercase IP whenever we need to use that IP. And I'll show you guys an example of that in a bit. All right, so V Etsy hosts. Okay, so enter the IP right there. Oops. All right, tab. And it was jack.thm. Go ahead and save that. All right, so let's do our nmap scan. Tech SC, tech S. Oops, B, O, A. Save it in the file nmap as scan. And then we'll do the IP. As you guys can see, this is what I mentioned earlier. Don't have to enter the IP, just dollar sign uppercase IP and the scan will run. Now, while that's doing that, we can go back here again and we can check out the website. So jack.thm. All right, so Jack's personal site, blog for Jack's writing adventures. Um, still connecting so let's go ahead and scroll down all right so jack is visiting overlook hotel in colorado let's see where that takes us takes us to another web page okay we can leave some comments nothing interesting there um sometimes you can hit control u and with these ctf challenges sometimes they leave little hints in the uh source codes of the HTML, which I don't see anything. You should be in like a little, like color green. Okay, so there's nothing there. All right, let's check and see if that scan's done. It is, we got two ports, 22, running open SSH 7.2. And then we have port 80 running Apache 2.418. And then as you can see, we have a WordPress 532, and it has a robots.txt. Disallowed entry for WP admin. So we can actually go ahead and do jack.thm WP admin. Should take us to a login page, which it does. So here's a login page. Now we can use WP scan to oops spell clear wrong to enumerate for users and I have a script for that actually not a script but a little cheat sheet can always remember every command line so I always like to actually we'll just go ahead and put jack dot thm now this scan is going to take about a minute or so so I'm going to pause the video as it's doing its thing, and then we'll be right back. And then I'll scroll through everything to show you guys. So go ahead and let that do its thing, and we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. The scan has been completed. As you can see, we got three different users right here. We got Jack, Wendy, and Danny. Now let's go ahead and scroll up and let's see if we can find anything else interesting at all. Okay, so let's see. Okay, it's a WordPress Go scanner. Oh, not interesting. Nothing interesting here. Wait a second, what was that? Well, this is a good thing right here. It says right here, it says XML RPC seems to be enabled. Now we can actually use this to brute force, um, brute force the login, which is a good thing. So since we got three users, let's make a quick little user um, file for usernames. So we'll call it users.txt. We do Jack, Wendy, Danny. So we go Jack. 
Oops. Jack, Wendy, and Danny. Go ahead and save that. Now that we have that. Okay, good. Now I have a another one right here for brute forcing with one piece. Just go ahead and copy that. We'll actually put Jack at the end of this. Yeah. Use a cheat sheet. I hate. Actually, I really don't need to use a cheat sheet. All right, so users. All right, so WP scan. Users.txt. Or user share wordless. I'm doing fast track. And then um tag tag URL is jack dot thm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pause it because it's gonna take a minute for it to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and we'll be right back. All right, we are back. You have finished with the brute forcing for the login page. As you can see, we have a username and password. Wendy, change later as the password. So we scroll up in case you guys miss out. Just does a bunch of this stuff. <clears throat> so we can go ahead and log in to this which was Wendy and change later. No, we don't need to save it. Well, that's doing that. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear that out. Let's go ahead here back to notes. All right, so we've got WP creds. No, we won't do WP, we do WordPress, creds, username, Wendy, pass, WT, change later. All right. All right, so we are now on the dashboard. And as you guys can see, we don't have any we're not admin so we need to elevate our privileges from a regular user to administrator now as we can see right here actually no right here and the hint it was mentioning something about URE other roles and as we read earlier we can Elevate our privileges to administrator by by taking advantage of the user role editor. <clears throat> so what we have to do is come back here. Got to go to profiles and then scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says update profile. And then need to set up our burp proxy and then start our burp suite. While that's doing that. Okay, so let's go to next. Start burp suite. Scroll down here, mention something about put your E other roles at the end of the request. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to proxy. Nope, that's intruder. Go to proxy, come back here. We'll go ahead and copy this right here. Leave that like that. Enter this right at the end, which should give us administrative Privileges. All right. 
Go ahead and turn intercept off. Let's see if that worked. Hit refresh. All right. Let's go back here again. Okay, update again. All right, yeah, this is a little different. All right, there we go, that should work. Go ahead and intercept off and there we go. All right, so now that we got that, we have to do, get a reverse connection back to us. So we're going to take advantage of the plugins. And down here, go to plugins, and then we'll do a plugin editor. That's what it mentioned earlier. Hit that understanding. And we'll go ahead and write a Python, not Python, a PHP. Um, reverse shell. So let's do PHP system. Okay. And then let's go ahead and make a netcat listener using a cool program called RSG. Ton zero. And we do import 9000. This will give us a bunch of different reverse shells, payloads. So the ones we're going to use is the Netcat one. This one right here. All right. Let's go ahead and set that up to LNVP 9000. All right, now that we got that. And, and that should work right there. Go ahead and update the file. File has been updated. Go back to installed plugins, and then we need to activate it. As soon as we activate it, we should get a reverse shell which we did, and bam. All right, so now that we have a shell, the shell is not really a stable shell, so we need to make it a stable shell. So in a way to do that, we're going to use Python, and we'll do Python text C import PTY, PTY.spawn, All right, so then bash. And that should be almost there. See, we can't use the clear. And as you can see, we can't use tab. Okay, and we can't use it up. If we use up and down, it does that. So it's still not stable enough. So what we do is hit Control Z. All right, and then type in STTY. Minus echo, and then raw. We're going to hit enter. Then you're going to type in FG, and then enter twice. Okay. And now, we, we need to export a term. So export term is equals to X term. The reason why we're doing this is so we can be able to clear, use the clear function, as you can see. All right. So now that we got this, we can go ahead and see where we at. Let's go to the home directory. We got Jack, let's go inside Jack. Let's go ahead and clear this up. Hit LS. And we have a reminder.txt and the user. So let's go ahead and cat that user. Let's go ahead and copy that and paste it. 
over here. Oops. Let me get this done with. Now that we got that, let's go ahead and read that reminder. All right, so please read the memo and the Linux file permissions. Last time, your backups almost got us hacked. Jack will hear about this when he gets back. Okay, so we need to find those backups. So we use the find command. All right, I actually have the find command right here. All right, so file, type, and then name. All right. So we'll do find for slash type D name is backups tech ls to dev no okay there's two o's Okay, so it's in bar backups. All right, so clear. CD into the var backups. LS. And here's the SSH key right here. So we'll go ahead and cat the ID U RSA. Let's go ahead and copy this. Exit out that, clear that. And then we'll use Vim to paste it. Yes. Yeah, I don't like that one bit. All right, there we go. Go ahead and save. Oh, didn't realize I can just take control S. All right, and then we need to add permissions to it. So we use mod 600 ID RSA. All right, and then we're going to use SSH, tech I ID, and then Jack at dollar sign IP. I hit yes. Should give us a show. Yep, get that. All right. So now there's a few things that we need to do. We can go ahead and exit out this. Exit out. Let's close tab. Open new tab. Go over here to OPT. CD into the PSPY. All right. So we'll use this right here to do some interesting. So we're going to use, let's see. We're going to use PSPI to monitor the process that we're running, and we should be able to see the cron jobs running a script every minute. So first thing we need to do is we need to transfer it over to our shell. So we use Python tag M, simple HTTP server on port 80. Okay, we'll go ahead and cd into the temp directory. We use wget http. Oh, actually, we need to get our IP. So if config, ton zero. PSPY 64. 
Let it do its thing. All right. Hit LS. Give it some more permissions. And then we'll go ahead and let this run and it's gonna take a minute, so I'm gonna let it run, do its thing. And then take a little short little break while it's doing that. So we'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. So as you can see, we started the scan around 112. And as we can see, the cron jobs is running this script every two minutes. As you can see, 112, 114 right here. So we can go ahead and just copy this and check out and see what this file does or what the script does. So we'll do cat. So we can see that it imports the Python script as well as we already know. And the only thing that it's doing is it imports the OS module and then runs this command right here. So since we know it's importing the OS module, we can look at the Python module OS and see if we have read write access to it. If we do, then we can modify it to where we can get a reverse shell. But first, before we do that, let's go ahead and see what this script is running as, or who is it running as, so we can see that it's running as root. Yeah. All right, and we don't have rewrite access to this, only root does. So let's go ahead and do ls attack la usr lib python, I believe it's 2.7. OS.py. Now, as you can see, we do have rewrite access to it. it. It runs as root, but we are family and we have rewrite access to it. So what we'll go ahead and do is use a Python reverse shell script, add it to it and um, get us a reverse shell as root. We'll go ahead and open up another terminal. We'll start NC, tag LNVP on port 9001, because we already have 9000 running. All right, and we'll go ahead and V, use Vim. Now we're gonna have to write the script all the way down to the bottom. Luckily, I don't really need to write it. I already wrote it earlier. So basically we can just copy and paste it. I wrote a Python script for this earlier when I did this the last time. So it kind of saves me time on having to do it right now. All right, so where's my notes at from earlier? All right, so we're gonna use this one right here. We just gotta put our IP in the port. So let's go ahead and stop this real quick. Cause I forgot the damn IP. All right, so here's our IP. Clear and 9001. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that. And we're doing port 9001. All right, so this is a simple reverse shell for Python. Um, I actually had to use Google to figure this out. Um, I knew there's, I, I already know about using the S sockets and doing all this right here. So, but for some reason when I did the, just all this, it just didn't want to work. So I figured out a different way to do it. <sighs> 
go ahead and uh, where's it at? Okay, let's go ahead and paste that. All right, then we can go ahead and save. And then we gotta wait at least two minutes for us to get a shell. And I'm not gonna pause the video on this because I want you guys to be able to see this. So we're gonna wait two minutes. In the meantime, show you guys how I found this out. All right. So you just pretty much type in Python, uh, reverse shells. And you get these reverse shell cheat sheets. I'm not sure this is the one. Yeah. This one right here, as you guys can see. But instead of using Python to XC, I just took this and then imported OS and sockets. So I went off base off of this right here. <clears throat> so Pen Test Monkey, good site, good website for cheat sheets and everything. You know, there's this one dude, YouTuber, freaking data fraud zero is what I call him, and he likes to sell his cheat sheets. I try to tell everyone of his subscribers, dude, there's no point of buying his cheat sheets when you can get them for free. So there's a bunch of cheat sheets on this site right here. You guys check out. So let's check and see if we up. Oh, yeah, we already got it. So we got our root. It worked successfully. So that's a good thing. And that's how you guys root this box. So as you can see, we do ls, we got the root flag. And we'll just copy this. Go ahead and paste it. And we're done. So this is how you guys root Jack. I hope you guys love this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment. You guys have a great day and uh, keep on hacking.